We're in Elizabeth Town today. Now, it's a little active back here, all kinds of stuff going on, people coming and going, but that's an average day here. It stays pretty daggone busy. This is Barry, but this is the star Olivia. That's right. I've heard, I've seen her catching fish. I heard she's just a monster at catching fish. She does. Well, what happened when I walked in the door? I smelled those. It's a heavenly smell. Now, let's talk about getting those fresh. You're a southern guy. Where are you from? Mobile, Alabama. Dolphin Island, Alabama, actually. And so you grew up fishing right. and in the great outdoors. That's one of the best foods in the world. How's a southern boy eat one of those? Show me how to, show me how to do it right. Well, not much to it. I mean, everybody down there, you, you, you'll get tired eating it because you have to peel it so much. But uh, if you hold it in your left hand, put your thumb right up on it, it fits perfect. Most people suck the heads. Now, I don't do that. I'm not that big into it. But what we do, just pull the first ring off, squeeze it a little bit, boom, and it's gone. So I could knock out that pan in a minute or two. You know, I used to drive to the coast just to back up to a boat so I could get fresh stuff. Right. Now I'm seeing it right here behind you. I'm seeing shark. I'm seeing sea trout. I'm seeing flounder over here. I'm seeing snapper. A couple years ago, I was, I was down, I think it was down in St. Joe's, and I was fishing for flounder. I was fishing for them just like a fish for bass. Right. Let's use a little, you know, a little shrimp bait. And they, they hit kind of like a bass. But then I went to clean them. I was like, whoa, 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 wait. This is not your typical critter. These things lay on the bottom. Their eyes are on top. Can you show us how you clean a flounder? Well, a lot of people like to eat them whole. And when we eat them whole, you, you can fry them, bake them, or grill them. But a lot of people want to stuff them. Now, if you wanted to fillet the fish, these are small, the ones we have in this week. And they're intended for self-serving whole. Right. Now let's talk about this fish for just a second. If it was in its natural state, it His lays legs flat. just like this. His eyes, now they're born, when they're born, they swim like this. Then when they right. get a little bit bigger, they lay in both eyes. That eye rotates and comes up on top. Yep, they're both on, be honest. I wish I had a whole one for you, but unfortunately these are already done. But if you cook this hole, this line down the middle goes right down his back. Right. If you stick the fork in on that line and go either way, you push the meat right off the bones. And it's, it's, it's probably the best bony fish it is. But if you want to fillet him, you'd cut right down the line, the same thing, and you would cut back. Got a little bit of bones with that one. And then you'd flip him over and do the same thing on the back. But you're gonna come off with four fillets. I got two ants that will not touch a fish, but they'll eat flounders. All no, the fish they'll eat. Who is it, Dad? Aunt Audrey. <laughs> and she's Dad? from Kentucky. And who has Mama? Mama won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> She Andre won't eat any fish. It. That's right. She will. <laughs> but this is this is one fish a lot of people eat that won't eat any other kind of fish because it is very white mm -hmm. and flaky and mild flavored. Yeah. Now some people want to stuff them. How would you how would you how would you prepare them to stuff? If you're gonna stuff them, you cut right in here, cut you a little slit. All right. And then you just cut back. And you could stuff your. What if you put a crab cake in there? Man, you could probably do that. It'd probably be good. I got, do you know anybody that makes crab cakes? <laughs> Olivia, do you know anybody that makes crab cakes? Um, you. <laughs> ah! This is one of our one of our fresh crab cakes. You could probably use about a half of one. What I would do, stuff it back in there like that, and that's made with jumbo lump crab meat, which is fairly hard to get. I think I'd have to try that myself. I like the sound of that. Now, uh, fresh oysters, you got them on the, on the shelf yeah, here. Let's see how to open one of those bad boys. All right. Old school, we used to beat on it, knock a little hole in the front. I don't know why we never did this, but nowadays they just go right back to the hinge, pop it. And my grandma used to do this for a living. No kidding. Yep, she shucked oysters for a living. You want to try that? Sure, I do. Hey, Salty. Man, oh man. That's the good way. It tastes like the ocean. Well, I tell you what, I thank you very much for talking with us today. Yes, sir. I know what I'm having for dinner this weekend. <laughs>